Hi and welcome to another episode of Hereford FC here on Vanilla FM and today we're going to take a look at the new squad, the new season uh, and take a look at a game as well in that. So before we jump into the match that we're going to play, um, I'm just going to take you back to the transfers window and this season we actually uh, brought in more players than I thought we would. That's because a lot of our players that we had at the end of last season were quite old and they retired. So, as you can see that we have quite a few transfers. One per position, I think, pretty much. So, I'm going to take you to the squad. Organize it like that. So, we have one new goalkeeper, Jasper Singh. And he's coming to replace um, Fail, I think. Uh, we still have Charlie Horlock as a backup kicking around somewhere and and I must also say that in general I went, I went for younger players Jasby isn't not an example of that but um uh, yeah in in on the whole I went for younger players as well uh, another player that it's new uh, on the right side of the fence we have we used, we still have uh, Isaac but we also brought in uh, Jack Thompson uh, from Bolton really is where he used to originally be. So he's with us as well. He's a new backup right defender. Uh, for the left side of the fence, we still have the same two. So Joe and Tom. In the uh, central defend, the defensive, uh, Tom Bonner, he, I kind of parked him a little bit at the, at the end of last season. And I'm not sure if I showed you this or not, but I actually had... For a very short period of time, um, someone else. Oh, there we go. Peter Clark. He was with us at the very, very end of last season. Uh, it was very good, actually, to have him at the end of last season to kind of make sure we didn't drop anywhere below eight place. Um, but yeah, so apart Tom for a little, a little bit, but he's back now in the senior squad. I thought about maybe getting rid of him, but um, I didn't in the end. We still have Ryan Shirton as well, um, and Dwayne, who's also a kind of a uh, bit of a backup player. And for the bench, we brought in Andy Butler, and he's gonna be in and around the, the other guys as well. He's, he's also very good for things like mentoring as well, because he's you know quite old and resolute, and he's got quite a lot of mental uh, abilities to pass on as well. Uh, for the uh, defensive midfielding position, we have one new player, Mike Carvley, in that position. Uh, for the midfield, though, we have two brand new players. We have Billy Festa, who's our new star player, uh, 20 years old, uh, from Nottingham Forest, previously at Leeds as well. He's come to us, and also uh, Freddie Bell, was the backup for that position he's got a prospect of being quite a good player but it isn't at the moment from crystal palace on the uh left side of attack uh of the midfield left side of midfield we have andy andy kellett um who's kind of a backup for that position really and we still have nick actually nick used to be on the right and we swapped him to be over on the left because he can do both and uh, we still have Andrew on the right of attack, uh, but we also went and got Joe Holvely as a youngster for the future. And we have two new strikers. So we have, uh, oh, is it three? I can't remember. It might be two, it might be three. No, it's two. Okay, so um, Red has actually retired. Matt Red, that we had last year, retired. He's actually one of our coaches now. If you go to the coaching staff, that was he? Reeves, Mike, mm. Where is it? Ah, there we go. So he's now one of our main coaches. And to replace him, we brought in Jimmy Spencer, who is actually not doing too badly for us at the moment. And we brought in for the poacher position uh, Nathan Cartman, who's also not doing too badly for us either. So those are the two new attackers. We're gonna go play a game against um, Geisley. Uh, we have two wins so far in the league. 
Uh, one of them was a narrow win, 3-2. The other one was how we had a bit more room. I think it was 3-1 or something. We haven't had a clean sheet yet. So I'm hoping that this will be it. Uh, we've also been able to increase our staff as well. Oh, we start off with a penalty. That's, that's not a good way to start. Let's hide this for a minute. Um, yeah, so we managed to increase our staff count a little bit uh, to help us with some aspects. Um, things like physios and performance analysts. I think we managed to get uh, one or two more coaches as well. Which is good. This isn't a great way to start, guys, with a penalty. I'm hoping this will be sorted out soon with some goals. Because Cartman is not offside. I oh, misses it. Okay. Um, yeah, so what else is new? Uh, we still don't have a senior affiliate club. I really like having a senior affiliate because it gives us a little bit of extra cash. Sometimes you get one or two players that come through as well from, from that relationship. But um, the, the board actually. Oh, he defended with his head. What was that? Oh, there was another f penalty from Shotton. The goalkeeper defended with his head. That was quite impressive. Um, yeah, so sometimes you get, from affiliate clubs, you get um, one or two players that come through, but the board has actually looked at two uh, two, uh, yeah, two instances. They've tried to go and look for a senior affiliate, but they've always come back with no suggestions. So. This isn't going well for us, guys. Two penalties in the first 15 minutes. Now a free kick. Not not what we want to see, for sure. If you hear some noise in the background, we've got some... Um, some worksmen working on the road outside. I think it's a gas installation. So yeah, so there might be a little bit of machinery noise in the background. Here we go, Cartman goes forward. Oh, Spencer. Yeah, there we go. This is these these two guys at the front actually work quite well. Um Spencer and Cartman. They have been working quite well recently in well in the two matches they've had together anyway. So I'm quite happy with that with that pairing. Uh, and then from here on, we're just going to carry on and play the rest of the season. We're, we're keep, keeping an eye on, on the youth as well, uh, in the long term, I mean, um, as the save goes on. Because uh, in the past, when I've done this kind of experiment, if I keep investing in youth, it eventually comes a time where the youth players are actually quite helpful and quite useful. At the moment, they're not really, but it comes a point where, where they are. Oh, here we go. That was not expected. Oh, it was actually counted as an own goal. Okay, I want to see that replay again. Um, so, Carly lobs it forward, lands on Seely, that goes for a shot, but actually Smith gets a foot in it, I think. Oh well. It should be counted as, as Seely's, but Unless Silly's intention was maybe to cross. <laughs> yeah, so so the, the aim is to continue with this experiment in the way that we do uh, transfers. So yeah, I think I've shown you a couple times. Um, it's all based on attributes and stuff and age as well. We'll keep, we try to keep, go for the youngest players that we can with those attributes. And we keep investing in the club as much as the club allows us to. So keep nagging the, nagging the board to do things. Uh, so we can, we can have a good youth uh, facilities, good tra training facilities, a lot of investment. That was a nice goal. 
Okay, so we managed to pull back from behind. That's good. Another goal from Spencer. Have they all been from Spencer so far? Oh no, there was an own goal. Yeah. This is not a hat trick. Uh, I don't think I want to do any changes at half time. So let's go and carry on. Of course, this squad um, is no longer the original squad of um, of Hereford. We've we've basically replaced all of the players by now. I love it how that guy that guy is just called Hey, Hey, Hey. Look to be lining up. <laughs> It's actually quite a good defense from Singh. So it'll be fun to see how the squad develops as the seasons go forward. What kind of players I bring in. I find it that I haven't quite picked the same tactic as last year. Um, when I've done this last year. In previous years, I mean, I'm, I always keep going for the same tactic, but this year I wanted to build the squad around a tactic that worked for the original players of Hereford. So I, it's a slightly different tactic. Um, the defense is pretty much the same, but the rest isn't. Um, so I can't really compare to the players that we've had before. I know uh, Charlie Horlock, the, our backup goalkeeper, tends to be the backup goalkeeper that we go for. I remember his name. Les Davis with his first goal of the season. Very good, very good. He's, he's not playing in his usual position. He's usually a target um, forward. Oh, um, is it target forward? Yeah. But he's playing in a poacher position today just because he came in as a sub. Here goes Hay again. And over the top. So, yeah, so other than that, um, looks like we're on top again of the league. Uh, so if you check out the Patreon as well, there's lots of ways you can get involved and support this experiment as well. Also, there's, I think one of the tiers, uh, if you subscribe on uh, one of the, I can't remember which one it is now. Um, it might be the £10 one. You get, you get to, you get to have your name as a regen. So once we start making regens in the game, you could uh, have your name um, on one of them. So, if you haven't checked out the Patreon yet, go and check it out. I don't tend to make it too busy. It's more of a way to kind of for you guys to support the support the experiment and stuff. Um, all the content is obviously on here on on YouTube. I don't really do any extra content and stuff like that, but it gives you a, an opportunity to support this as well. And in that note, I'm gonna leave it there, and I'm gonna progress to round about January. I don't know. Uh, I don't really have a fixed sort of schedule for this for these episodes but i suspect i'll come around again in january in the game and possibly in january in real life as well uh with a new episode just to let you know how the season is going uh in the meantime thanks so much for watching until the end and don't forget to like and subscribe and as i said go check out the patreon as well thanks so much see you next time Bye bye